The Minnesota Supreme Court will now decide if former President Donald Trump is disqualified from being on the state's presidential primary and general election ballot. So the argument is being made under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which was adopted after the Civil War. The amendment says anyone who's taken a prior oath of office and has engaged in an insurrection or rebellion or given aid or comfort to the rebellion is disqualified from being elected U.S. office holder. As May Murphy was at that hearing today, and she's going to join us now for from the newsroom. So what did we learn today, Asme? A lot, Erin. I can tell you this. Those bringing this suit are a bipartisan group of Minnesota citizens led by former Democratic Secretary of State Joan Groh and by Republican former Supreme Court Justice Paul H. Anderson. There were five justices who heard the arguments because two had recused themselves. Of the five justices, four were appointed by Democratic governors. One, Justice Barry Anderson, was appointed by a Republican governor. The attorney for those bringing the suit say democracy democracy is at stake. Beginning before the 2020 election and culminating on January 6, 2021, Donald Trump engaged in rebellion and insurrection against the Constitution of the United States in a desperate attempt to remain in office. Former President Trump's attorney fired back that the Minnesota court has no jurisdiction. When parties ask the courts to step into that process and to decide who can or can't be president, the courts overwhelmingly say that's not a decision that should be made in the judiciary. All five justices asked questions of the attorneys and attorney for Secretary of State Steve Simon asked that the justices' final decision come no later than January 5th. Minnesota's presidential primary is on March 5th, and Minnesotans will start voting early in the primary on January 19th. Now, the argument being presented today is also taking place in a courtroom in Colorado this week, where they actually have been hearing testimony about what happened on January 6th. The justices did not say when they would have a ruling, but both sides tell me they expect it very soon, and both sides they expect say they expect this to go to the U.S. Supreme Court. All right, we'll be watching. Thank you so much, Esme.